Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So in today's episode I want to take my first look at Bumblebird. Now it's one of the bosses which I have left blind for myself. I saw a few people in the Terraria Discord bring up the fact that I did look at a video instruction for the boss before and they were kind of worried that I would keep doing that for other bosses and then that would in turn ruin the bosses. So I kind of agree with that in a way, like I actually do. And so, like I say, I haven't looked at this one, so it's going to be interesting. I may have already seen this at some point. I don't even know if I did it in season one. <laughs> Great memory I have. Right, well, let's get into today's episode. So without a doubt, the most requested thing was an accessory called the sponge. So I looked it up. I, uh, I went and found all of the things for it, so it takes a few accessories, some of them we already had, uh, some of them I had to go find, like, uh, well, craft, I had to craft these, uh, we already had this, we already had that, that, that's just the gelatin, so you know what that is, and then just a bunch of other stuff, and essentially it kind of combines into this, so it goes into the absorber, so pretty cool, because it's a material, I'm not really interested in looking what it actually does, and then you make this one, and then they combine together to make the sponge. So here's what the sponge does. 20 defense. 50% increased mining speed and you admit light. 12% increased damage reduction and increased life regeneration. Poison, freeze, chill, frostburn and venom immunity. Honey life regen with no speed penalty. That's amazing. Most bee slash hornet enemies and projectiles do half damage to you. 120% increased jump speed and 12% increased jump uh, movement speed, plus 30 max life and mana. Uh, standing still boosts life and mana regeneration. Increased defense and damage reduction when submerged in liquid. Increased movement speed when submerged in liquid. Enemies take damage when they hit you. Taking a hit will make you move very fast for a short time. You emit a mushroom spore and spark explosions when you are hit. And enemy attacks will have part of their damage absorbed when you use to heal you. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> a lot of reading there to begin with. Reading not my strong point on camera. <laughs> there are so many clips now where I just butcher everything. But that's okay. So that is, uh, that is now complete. We have the sponge. Which sounds amazing. I do need to give it a quick reforge. And then what we're going to do today is we're going to make up a new weapon. And then I'm going to go and see what Bumblebird is like. And then I can kind of go from there. So it is kind of a blind look, but we'll go from there. All right, so that's all my accessories. I no longer need the shining stone because I can just stand still and regen life. Awesome. Okay, really cool. Now, I feel like I have everything for Bumblebird. I'm pretty sure I do. So I'm going to make up... Actually, come to think of it, I don't know if I've just used all the things that we need. <laughs> Oh god, did I? I don't know. We'll see in a minute. Anyway, so this is a new uh, magic weapon. I actually had this prepared like two weeks ago, but it's called the Primordial Ancient, and it is 397 magic, and it's an upgrade to the Primordial Earth. Oh wow, I can see how that's an upgrade. It goes a lot further. Look at that. <laughs> that is cool. That is actually really cool. Right, so let's look at this uh, this bird thing. So it uses some of these. So here it is. It's called the uh, it's called the bird. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We have everything we need. We need some luminite, uh, some solar fragments, and some cosmolite. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Look, there you go. I mentioned my uh, my reading, <laughs> and already we're being called out on it. Already we're being called out on it. So what? What's this? Ah, that's why I was getting confused. Okay, cool. All right, let's make uh, two. So I'll probably need two. And then I need to put some crafting stuff away. So I need to put this away, this away. And then these two go in all. So one, two. And then I'm going to put away this accessory. Because I don't need that anymore. We're going to bin this. going to favorite that. And then the phantasm we're also going to put into crafting. Right, there we go. So now I need to grab a bunch of potions. So loot all. And then start favoring some of these. These are the potions we're going to be using. Awesome. So that's done. I also need these. Okay, all right. Now we are ready. So I hope you've all been well. We had a pretty good day. 
Today I uh, I met up with a uh, other Terraria YouTuber. I'm sure you've heard of him, Mr. Mr. Python. <laughs> met up with Python today. We had a uh, we had lunch. It was really really nice. He chilled. He saw my new house for the first time. He liked it. I hope. <laughs> but he seemed to like it. So yeah, that's what we did today. We went to a, a nice little cafe and uh, and we got some lunch and uh, and we chatted about YouTube and stuff. And then, other than that, I, I was quite excited today because, and this is a very specific topic, it's a very nerdy topic, but I hope you guys can maybe relate in some way. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of Nintendo Amiibo before. Essentially, Nintendo Amiibo, for those who haven't, you know, there are people like, for example, Python has never even heard of them. So, people, there are people out there that don't know. So, essentially, Amiibo are these tiny little figurines from Nintendo that have little uh, uh, hockey pucks on the bottom of them, essentially. And inside of those hockey pucks is kind of like a little device. And when you scan that device into your game, you get some exclusive content. So I've been trying to hunt down and collect a bunch of the Legend of Zelda ones. There are 18 to be exact at the minute with four new ones being released. And in the UK, some of them, to get some of them, is £100. Just to get a, uh, a little figurine that gets you something in game. And, uh, and I found out about this black market amiibo. <laughs> Um, where people are making their own amiibo into playing cards and selling them as a deck. So I bought some just to test them out, just to see what it was like. I'm going to finish my collection either way. But uh, I was really excited because they actually do work, and I actually think that's amazing that people have figured out a way to uh, to kind of bypass that. It blows my mind a little bit because they are just way too expensive. They're just silly at this point. Anyway, amiibo thing aside, aside I was really excited because I found out they do work today. Right, so, uh, double down, duh, duh. okay, got all our accessories, oh, oh, did I not, uh, reforge that? Oh, that's really stupid, I need to get that done, and then give me honey, so what, can I be submerged in liquid now? So, alright, okay, I get it, I get it, alright, oh, yeah, buff up, I almost didn't buff up then, I'm gonna stand still. Increase my life regen. Having this little uh, skeleton here should reduce enemy spawn rate. Cool, I don't need anything. Maybe a yo-yo glove? I don't actually have one. I'll leave that for now. Okay, let's have a little go. Alright, okay. I'm waiting for Bumblebird to get extreme. Alright. Oh, why is my mana not regenerating? I have mana pots. Oh, my mech worm's kind of doing everything for me. I don't actually even know where Bumblebird is. Oh, it's there. Okay, Bumblebird. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I don't necessarily know what it's doing. It's just taking its sweet time to even, uh, to even get to me. I don't know why my pots aren't working. Did I not pick up my pots? No, I've got my mage combinations. How come my mana's not regenerating? Oh. What? <laughs> no. Really? Why? Why is that a thing? Come on. Why is that boss even a thing? Why have a boss that's so powerful it takes days to beat and a whole arena that takes the whole world and then the next boss is that? That literally makes no sense. That boss is an absolute pushover. Like, I don't, I don't get why that made the cut. That one is the weirdest one. <laughs> Yeah, that one definitely needs a, a real, real buff. That one that one should be a legitimate fight. If it's gonna be a boss, it's gotta be a legitimate fight. <laughs> unless I just uh unless I just bugged it out. Knowing me, I probably bugged it out. Let's try it with this gun. But like, I didn't even get to see it, it died so fast. Oh my god. I thought this would take ages to beat. I don't actually know where it is. Where are you? Oh, it's there. Okay. Like, it takes forever to even come onto screen. That is just, that is silly. That is... That is really, really silly. What is this? Oh, this is cool. It's a bit slow, though. But cool. Alright. Awesome. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that definitely needs... Someone needs to fix that. Someone needs to work on that one. <laughs> that was not expected at all. I honestly thought that would take forever. And that's why I made two and I, I was kind of preparing. Over-preparing even. 
Oh my god. I feel like that one's just worth just farming out, to be honest. Right, let's see what these feathers make. So, they make the dragon egg and the dragon fruit. So you need 30 for the dragon fruit. And you also need a lot of solar fragments, and you also need a... A lot of, uh, a lot of other stuff. What is this? So, bars of life and cosmolite. Go on, we'll give Yaren a go. Why not? I mean, I'm not going to beat Yaren, because obviously it's uh, first attempt and all that. But I will give Yaren a little go. Just to see how Yaren has changed in Revengeance mode, so I can plan ahead. Right, so let me grab some bars of life. Uh, bars of life. Oh, that's astral. They're the bars of life. Right, we'll make one. So, I'll take one dragon egg, please. Oh, I need my other bars. That's alright. Let's see here. Um, Cosmolite. Okay, one dragon egg, please. Okay, awesome. The good thing is, because we've obviously beaten uh, beaten the, uh, the Bumblebird, presumably... Actually, you know what? I need to go back and reforge something. Presumably, uh, one of the NPCs will actually sell that summoning device now. So if I check with the Witch Doctor... Yeah, okay. So I can actually just buy it now for 20 Platinum. So that's good. So that means I can start farming out the feathers for uh, for actually doing the, uh, the little uh, dragon egg fruit thing. <laughs> Whatever. That's kind of cool. Right, let's reforge something though before we go. There we go. So yeah, I can now officially say, guys... Say, uh, if you're a fan of Python, I can now officially say I've made him a cup of tea. Because I have, and he, he rated it pretty good. I don't make cups of teas often. I, like, I barely ever drink tea. I'm, like, wholeheartedly in on caffeine. Like, I love coffee. I love energy drinks, which is really bad, but I do. So, I don't really drink tea, even though, obviously, tea has caffeine in it. Uh, but I, I made him one today, and, you know, he, he said it was good. Okay, I'm looking for warding here. Spending all that money. Come on. <laughs> Give me warding. Spiked, angry, quick, fleeting, brisk. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to slow down now because I feel like I'll get it soon. Or sods look, I'll do it really fast and go past it. Oh my god. Like, at the start of the episode, you guys saw me reforge something like three times to get one of the rarer things. Look at how much... Oh my god. Look at how much platinum it's reduced us to. I'm not even going to be able to buy those, uh... To, <laughs> to buy those, uh, Bumblebird spawners. Oh my god, that literally reduced all of my money. Like, that's it gone. Oh my god. <laughs> that is, that is insane. The reforge system in Terraria, man. What are you going to do, eh? <laughs> it's so bad. Right, okay, double buff. Uh, right. Okay, let's go over here. And we'll see what happens. I mean, Yaren is a tough fight. Yaren's always been a tough fight. But let's see. Alright, so buff up. Stand still, regen some life. And we'll give it a go. I'm going to use the primordial earth for this and a mech worm. Just to see what happens. Okay. Presumably, Yaren's just going to be as hard as, as uh, he always was. <laughs> oh my god! No way! <laughs> Why is that so powerful? Why go from Bumblebird, who literally is like a pointless boss, to only serve as a uh, as a method for making that boss, and then have that one be so hard? Oh my god! Right, okay, so Yaren's gonna need a whole arena, so like. From here to up here with extra blocks. All right, that's not a, that's not something we can prepare today. That's that's definitely a tomorrow kind of thing. Oh my god, that is that is actually mental. That is actually mental. Uh, is this a material? No, but maybe you guys can leave me some uh, some advice for tomorrow, and uh, and I'll try and take that advice. All right, let's see. Can we sell? Hmm, I'm just thinking if we can sell some stuff that'd be really handy because then I could uh, just keep buying the summons. But then, admittedly, I'm not going to get enough to uh, to even do that anyway. I've got 10 life fruit as well. I've got a lot of stuff. Actually, let's put that back. I've got a lot of stuff. It's just that it's going to take me time to uh, to sell that stuff to then buy the stuff. 
Hmm. All right, let's have a little look at this. So, Dragon Fruit. Okay, so that's priority numero uno because that definitely needs to get done now because obviously we have the uh, we have that available to us. And then, so a lot of people wanted me to make the Alpha Ray. That was something. Is it? Yeah, using the Genesis and this. I thought I'd already made this, but uh, I guess not. So it uses two wingmans and this. Oh god, I could have swore I'd made that one. Ah oh, well, never mind. So a Galactical Singularity and some Cosmolite bars. So let's make that. So how many Cosmolite bars do we have left? Uh, we have 24. And we do have two wingmen. God, I could've, honestly, I could have swore I'd made this this we one weapon. What was it called again? Is it the Alpha? It is the Alpha Ray, right? Alpha Ray. Hmm. Okay. Alpha. I guess maybe not. Obviously, it makes sense, but I guess. How do you make this gun? <laughs> Look at me, just getting confused. How do you make this? Oh, right. Okay. I remember this now. I remember it. Yeah. Okay. I do need to make this because I was. I remember. I got all the stuff ready one day and, uh, and I didn't have. Oh, I can't, no, I can't, I can't, genuinely cannot remember now. Okay, into crafting we go. I need some solar fragments, some stardust fragments, vortex and nebula. And that's going to make me a galactical singularity. I need five of those. Okay. And then in my weapons tab, I should have wingmen or wingman. I've got one wingman there and a second wingman there. Okay, so this makes the alpha ray. Okay, put this together. All right, yeah, I've definitely never had this weapon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty obvious at this point. Oh my god, that looks sick. Oh, it looks so good. How come my uh, my mage combination isn't working though? Oh, it works now. It wasn't working before. Look at that. So what was that at? 75,000? Hmm, it kind of decreases. So what is the best one that I've got then? What about this? What's that doing? Alright, that's doing like 25. That's doing like 12,000. I think, yeah, I think that one definitely wins, doesn't it? <laughs> if you do it here and it, it pierces two of them, it wins. Cool. Alright. Awesome. Okay, well that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've all uh, been enjoying the series so far. Um, I'm very excited to uh, to be facing the final bosses. I mean, I've got two left now, and then that is it. I've beat Calamity in Revengeance mode, so we'll see how long this takes us. Uh, hopefully it's not too long, but I'm excited to see what happens at the end. <laughs> Alright, okay guys, well I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Peace.